So I had a brief moment where I was really excited for seeing Sabotage. It has Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. I love that guy. It's directed by David Ayer. He made Training Day and End of Watch. And then I found out who it was written by. Then all of a sudden I was basically the Terminator in T2 when they turned him off for the night. <laughs> Sabotage is directed by David Ayer and stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sam Worthington, Terrence Howard, Olivia Williams, and some other people as well. And what this movie is about, essentially, some DEA agents and they're undercover and they attempt to steal some money from something. And we watch this happen in the opening scene. It goes wrong, then an investigation happens amongst their crew, and then people are after them because they're afraid that their money was stolen and they have to figure out who took the money, where the money went, did they take the money, did someone else take the money, where's the money, and Arnold Schwarzenegger is awesome. And like I said in my intro, I was excited about this movie until I found out who the writer was, and that writer is Skip Woods, the man behind such films like X-Men Origins, A Good Day to Die Hard, A Good Day to Die for everyone who saw it. And this movie is filled with his type of writing. It's completely convoluted, a lot of it doesn't make sense, it doesn't seem to go anywhere. I'm not the kind of guy who goes to a movie and goes, that movie was too violent, I did not like that film, it was violent and disgusting, and I do not approve of this, and my children will never lay eyes on such entertainment ever. <laughs> I'm not that guy at all, one of my all-time favorite movies is Seven which is horrifically disgusting. But the problem I think I have with Sabotage's depiction of violence is that it seems to glorify it. Lots of innocent bystanders are killed, civilians, and it's very bloody and very disgusting and they linger on it. They show it as if it's almost like a video game where you can run around and just smash up society. There's a lot of scenes like that in this film where violence is shown and it doesn't really need to be shown. And I understand that they're going for a realism that may be there, but when you use a whole bunch of over-exaggerated CGI blood, there is no realism to it. It's just gratuitous. And I don't feel like the violence in the movie is really justified because even though they are showing people who are trying to do the right thing, the problem is none of the characters in the film that are supposed to be the good guys are actually likable in any way. None of them. In fact, I pretty much hated almost every character in this movie except for Arnold Schwarzenegger's character who seems to be the only one in this film who has even a shred of integrity. Him and Olivia Williams' character who is another police officer who's investigating the DEA agents. The characters in this film are not only vastly unlikable, but you don't know a thing about any of them except for Arnold's character. Everyone in this film, particularly this girl named Lizzie, who is the most unlikable, unwatchable character I've seen in movies in many years. She is such a repulsive character and none of these people are likable at all. When I think of awesome DEA agents, I think of Hank Schrader from Breaking Bad. I do not think of a whole bunch of people who go in a strip club badger a whole bunch of women and then beat up the security guards at the strip club. The violence in the film is so exaggerated to the point where civilians are getting their bodies exploded and stuff and it's just crazy actually how unnecessarily violent this movie is. That being said, there is an extreme plus to this movie and that is Arnold because I'm not just an Arnold Schwarzenegger fan, I like to see him walk around and say funny lines and smoke cigars because he does that in this film. But this is actually a very dark performance for him and it actually has a lot of nuances to it. This is probably his best performance after his governor term. Once you figure out where it's going, it doesn't make any sense. And there's a large portion in the middle that is so boring where nothing happens and it's just a whole bunch of investigating and a whole bunch of body parts. This is probably Arnold's most violent film. Even though movies like Commando are really violent, those movies weren't taken seriously. This movie takes it very seriously. And when people are exploding and you're finding spleens and intestines everywhere, they were trying to sell realism by David Ayer's very hardcore filming style. But the realism was replaced with this extremely over-the-top grotesque violence that didn't make sense. The characters were incredibly unlikable. The story didn't make any sense, but Arnold is the one saving grace to the film and the one thing that kept me interested in where it was going. So I will give Sabotage a C minus. It's not a terrible film, but I can tell you that I never really want to see it again because of the incredibly unlikable characters and the unnecessary grotesque shit just flying everywhere. So guys, if you did see Sabotage, let me know what you thought of it. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck manized. <laughs>